Hi, I'm Jeremy Stamus with Review.com, and I'm here with the Fujifilm X100S, Fujifilm's second attempt at making a high-end point-and-shoot camera. It's still a point-and-shoot camera because the lens is not removable, uh, so we're classifying it as a point-and-shoot camera, but it's $1,300, and it's the successor to the X100. It has this same kind of chrome finish and retro design as the X100, which was part of the reason that camera was so popular. You know, having a shutter speed dial like this that you can really adjust on the fly, an exposure compensation dial like this that you can adjust without having to go through a menu system is great. And uh, the lens has an aperture ring right here. It still has an APS-C sized image sensor, but this one's been upgraded. It's still 16 megapixels. It's the X-Trans APS-C image sensor. So the main adjustment that Fujifilm made on the X100S is trying to improve where the X100 failed, and that's with autofocus. Fujifilm integrated phase detection sensors right onto the image sensor, and the results are really good. I'm focusing right here, and it's, it's doing it fairly quickly. It's, it's not perfect, and it's not the fastest high-end point-and-shoot out there, but it's way better than the X100. Fujifilm not only improved the autofocus on the camera, but it also went ahead and improved the manual focus, too. Uh, there's a regular manual focus ring, but what Fujifilm added are a bunch of focus assists. The digital split image focus assist it, it adds layers, kind of like rows to the image, and as you turn the lens ring, those, those rows will merge together to form a crisp image. It's really reminiscent of what you would get on an old school rangefinder from the 1970s, basically from the pre-digital era. The hybrid viewfinder on the Fujifilm X100S is a staple of the camera, and it was a staple of the X100 as well. It's really unique in the fact that the viewfinder works optically or electronically, and you have a little trigger up front that allows you to switch between the two. In optical mode, you're looking right through the viewfinder, but you have this heads-up display overlay that is giving you information about the camera. Uh, aperture values, ISO, shutter speed, exposure levels. And then when you hit the trigger again, you bring up an electronic viewfinder, and that's where you can really make use of those manual focus assist features. And also there's a big LCD on the back of the camera as well. Shooting JPEG on the X100S is not recommended, and it's really gonna be a waste of that $1,300 you spent to get this camera. Uh, but shooting raw and tinkering with the photos later, you can get some amazing shots out of this camera. We do need to warn you, this isn't a camera for beginners. This is a camera for pros. It's a camera for people who know how to handle raw files and work with them. And if you're willing to give this camera time and really learn its quirks and spend some time shooting with it, it's a very rewarding model.